is I, JDX, back again from the AJKW developmental hell, basically getting ready for backyard stuff, probably in the spring. Long story short, wrestling news aside, yes, I have heard many great things. Dean Ambrose becoming the Intercontinental Champion, Kenny Omega, and that great insanity pay-per-view that it is, Wrestle Kingdom 11, and... <laughs> Dixie Carter no longer in TNA. Oh, I heard of it all. I've heard of it all, ladies and gentlemen. But as of right now, I am going to do wrestling predictions uh, for this week's upcoming Royal Rumble. Uh, more importantly, I'm just going to really focus on the Rumble itself. Uh, as far as standard matches go, like the six-woman uh, uh, fight for uh, Alexa Bliss's... Uh, <sighs> WWE SmackDown Women's Championship, you know. I, honestly, if I was in kayfabe in the company, I might be a SmackDown kind of guy. Who knows? As far as Mary Russell goes. Uh, real talk. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, predictions for that. Um, oh, Mickey James is back. <laughs> uh, this is a, a very young JDX. Really, really happy to see Mickey James again. Uh, thoughts aside. Uh, probably she'll grip pain, but it'll probably, like, hike some sort of trip between herself, um, James, and, uh, Becky Lynch, because, honestly, that should have been the main match for Royal Rumble, and probably a stipulation or two, who knows. Uh, let's get to the other matches that are on the card, uh, if Dean is defending his, um, Intercontinental Championship against The Miz, uh, clearly I want Dean to win, I mean, I'm a bit of a Dean! Ambrose kind of guy, so no shit, he needs a, a, a defense. Probably had, like, some sort of uh, feud going on there. I mean, they've, they've already been feuding, uh, but it would add to it. Who knows? Roman Reigns and, uh, oh, I have absolutely no clue what Roman's doing, main match-wise. They, the thing with Raw is, like, they never really hyped it that well. Um, oh, yeah, uh... Kevin Owens, uh, let's talk about the Kevin Owens show. I have been aware of it. I'm liking the angle with him and Chris Jericho. The match on a cage match basically is what, I mean, it, it, back in the day, it's like, oh, something on the pole match, something on the pole match. Now it's like, let's just put a wrestler you like on a cage, and if they're friends, uh, they're going to go out of the way to stop them. Um... Yeah, so basically Roman Reigns is going up against Kevin Owens for the Universal Championship. And Chris is now the newly crowned um, U.S. Champion. So that's kind of a high risk that I don't want Roman to win. I mean, I understand as time goes on, he'll probably get his own character. He'll probably eventually fix himself when it comes to the last couple of years of just basically no-selling his own gimmick, promos, even a freaking spear of all things. So, yeah, um... And that's as far as main matches I know. I mean, there's probably pre-show matches I'm missing and a lot of things in between. Honestly, I, I'm very much aware. I just want to get my predictions on the Rumble itself. Um, basically, who who's who coming in. Uh, as far as Goldberg is concerned, I'm pretty sure he's either going to be 9 or 10. That's my best guess on the card there. Uh, as far as uh, surprises, I would love to see Kurt Angle, who just became uh, a Hall of Famer, just to come in and... I don't know, have, like, a reunion fight with uh, John Cena, because if those don't know, uh, Kurt Angle did his own version of the John Cena Open Challenge way back in the day in the early 2000s. John came out, took his ass, and became the no-selling jackass that we all know and love today. Yeah. Um, if there's any other Divas matches I might have missed, I think uh, Natalia is going up against... Uh, Bree or Nikki Bella. I don't know who's still in the company. It's not Twin Magic or anything. I just I legitimately don't remember. Um, yeah, they've been having a decent, like, I'm gonna burn your merch uh, feuds on SmackDown, so if they have a match, uh, it's probably just gonna be singles competition. They're not gonna, like, you know, advance to, like, try to get uh, Alexa's belt. I don't know yet. So that might be a good match. Um... So yeah, back on Royal Cards, uh, sorry, Royal Cards, uh, Cards for the Rumble itself, uh, Dean, uh, probably 11, maybe 12, as for Miz, he'll probably follow suit, like, maybe 12 or 13 after that, if he's on 11, um, 
And that's about it for, uh, like, the main guys are just going to, like, progress nor naturally, like, in the 10s or the 20s. Uh, I think the final surprise, since I did mention Wrestle Kingdom, uh, for starters, I liked the card. It had really good matches, and, um, I'm more of an ROH guy, and I heard of a certain broken Matt Hardy showing up on Supercard of Honor. I hate to say it, I would love to go wherever Supercard of Honor is to see Broken Matt Hardy and Brother Nero, aka the Hardys. Um, I doubt immensely that they're going to show up for the Rumble, but that would be hilariously awesome. Um, and the final nail of the coffin for Dixie's career as a TNA, you know, GM, both kayfabe and in real life, so, yeah. Well, her business would just, whew, tank there. Doubt immensely, because... Matt is, like, the only person that revitalized TNA last year, which surprisingly is good. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, I doubt it. What I don't doubt is Kenny Omega. He's technically a free agent, but he still has, like, a couple of months left with uh, the promotion when it comes to New Japan. So, aside from, what, jobbing to Okada, spectacularly, too. It wasn't, like, like a... a, a one, two, three, I'm out kind of situation. He went all out. He, he did the Terminator stuff. I mean, card to the whole match if you want to see it. Um, it, I mean, what, my, what I'm going to talk about won't do justice to how you guys see it. It's not like a spoilers or anything. It's just what I really think it's going to be. Uh, as far as him actually getting to the Rumble, um, if he pulls a AJ Styles and comes in like either three or four like uh, Styles did last year in last year's Rumble, um, that would be the most surprising thing ever. It caught everybody off guard when I saw it, uh, in real life at a bar. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's not much of a bar crawl afterwards. It's just like, wow, this happened. And we just had to go to work the next day. That's kind of how my real life friends are when it comes to bar crawls. It's like, uh, one bar and that's it. <laughs> kind of deal. Anyway, life aside, um, I don't doubt that Omega's gonna show up to the insane bastard that is WWE pretty soon. I would love for him or AJ to bring back the, the club and, like, make them NWO status staples. Because they kind of are in the indies when it comes to the Bullet Club. They are a, a fantastic stable. They are a beautifully done, like, sequel to the to NWO that everyone's been begging to do for, shit, over 10 years, maybe more. So, yeah, I doubt that could happen. Uh, as far as The Undertaker, Goldberg, and... Brock himself, where they're all going to stand in the Rumble. Um, again, probably single digits, like 8 or 9 for Goldberg and Brock. Uh, for Undertaker himself, he might come in, I want to say at 29 or 30 as like the last like guy and like teleport in like he usually does in promos and just like just clean house on anyone who's still there. And... I don't know who's really going to be left after all these print selections. Uh, for the final three, I really want, I guess, Goldberg, Seth Rollins, Dean. That would be pretty cool, like, if they all work together to take down Goldberg first. And, I don't know, Goldberg versus, uh, let me see here. Seth Lattics would be a good idea for future pay-per-views before WrestleMania. Another big if, um, I think, by real-life friends aside... Uh, they all think uh, Triple H is going to show up. Because it honestly makes sense. Because that was probably the plan if Seth was still in the game last year. If he wasn't injured. To basically collide a kayfabe feud. To end in, uh, or blow off in this case. In uh, WrestleMania with uh, Seth as uh, the Universal Champion at the time. Uh, WWE Champion. Uh, or if they're talking last year. Um, That might be nice. I would love to see that if they pull it off. One, I wouldn't see that coming as far as Triple H is concerned. He's mostly been um, GMing any developmental shows like uh, 205 Live for, for the Cruiser Raids, helping out tournaments for the UK tournament, which I did not see. However, I heard very good things about it, and a lot of WCW uh, originals like Noam Dar and so on and so forth um, did end up going uh, to the UK tournament and got pretty far. So, uh, I guess link to the tournament if I can find a clip for it, uh, like any match essentially. Uh, after that, uh, if, say, Triple H is 29 and he's up against, like, a lot of part-timers like Taker or Goldberg, it'd be a pretty sweet, like, dream match in the making, honestly. Um, 
But again, there's still the current angle factor. Since he's the Hall of Famer, does he show up or not? Who knows? Uh, so with all that said, that is my predictions for the main match. Again, my apologies if I don't know every single card when it comes to pre-shows and everything leading up to the main Rumble. Everyone's just basically there for the Rumble, like me. Um, with all that said, I am JDX, and my apologies for not having my intro. I don't want YouTube to have this grab little cover your hands on me on my return. With that said, take care, subscribe, and if this is the end card, please go to my previous video, go to my channel, subscribe if you want to, and hit that notification bell if you want to see more JDX related videos. Till then, I'm back. What? The idiot down. No, I shall not. For the good of the M71 galaxy. Okay, that is some great drugs you're on. Uh, uh, Dean? Yeah, hey. Uh, what are your predictions for Royal Rumble, even though you're technically going to be in the match? Uh, I don't know, like four, maybe five? That is low odds for you. Yeah, but there is logic in what I say. No, there isn't. Uh, hello, I'm the guy with a freaking gun. <laughs> Bob, just keep the camera on me. Just keep it on me. Oh, wow. You'll end up like Jeremy. What about Jeremy? You don't want to know. I just had a lot of pizzas in the end. No, I like pizza. Shut up. Okay, okay. Uh, final thoughts, I guess, because this is the outro. Uh, if this is the end card, what are you doing? Do it. And Renee, check this shit out getting my ass handed by an ultra. You would just bring your fucking girlfriend to everything. Uh, yeah, I would. <sighs> I am Ultra Man Ginga, and why didn't Retro review Ginga S? Uh, it wasn't on Crunchy Rollin! Oh god, oh god, oh god! What is with you anime fans? Every time everyone wants to be the greatest weeaboo of them all. This isn't Pokemon, you know? And that's- Scrap! Uh, later.